Well, what of Noah's movements after he was spotted naked, abandoning his bicycle and running off at the end of Northwood Road on the evening of the 21st of June, 2020? Well, we know nothing until his body is discovered. What we do have though, is at least two witnesses who around midnight, both independently and with partners, said that they heard in one instance, a child's scream or a young woman. And uh, another uh, couple said they heard a child's scream uh, or the, a young girl's and there were young women living next door. So they thought maybe perhaps that was that. And that they heard it twice and they listened to it in the, their back garden. Couldn't make head nor tails of it and went back to bed. So two screams. Was the screaming person, child, young person, was that Noah? Quite plausibly, yes. Certainly screams were heard. Independently, two couples have identified those around the same time, around midnight. So at three o'clock in the morning, then somebody tried to access the back door, turn the latch and uh, doorknob of a house in the same area. And shortly afterwards, uh, one of the witnesses who heard the young person scream said they were awoken when somebody tried to sh shine a flashlight into their kitchen. That alerted them, they got up. So the question is, is the flashlight and the screams of the young person, AKA Noah, connected? Who was the flashlight person? Were they looking for Noah? Had they spotted Noah? Was Noah caught? Have the PS and I sought out the flashlight person? Have they put out an alert for that person? Very odd. Well, we hope they have. We don't know. More questions another time.